Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. I hope everyone's having a really great day so far. I was watching this morning and the back to school season is in and they were talking about school uniforms and that made me think how I'm going to be moving back to university very soon to start my third year. So very soon any vlogs I do will be from my home where I'm studying but what I want to do is try and do as many videos as I can whilst I'm here at my family home because there are actually some really really nice filming locations here. So I thought today, and this is something I've been quite excited to do, is to do a video called Unexpected Stage Debuts. So that is where I've been on stage unexpectedly. So that, so for this summer that includes going on stage at the RSC and also how I got on stage at Henry the Fall Part 2 which I went to see last week. So how did each happen? So I think you might have seen, my, if you saw my RSC video, my RSC summer school video, I mentioned this but I don't, I didn't really go into as much detail as I wanted to because I wanted to talk about other things. So the RSC stage debut happened when I went to see As You Like It on the first day of the summer school. So during the day we had done workshops with Graham Brooks who was in the RSC production of As You Like It playing Charles and a forester. We had had a backstage tour and we looked at the text. So if you imagine a thrust stage, so audiences are there, there and there. I was sitting on this side so this would be the left of the stage and I was sitting right by the steps so we we were watching the show the group of us from the summer school that was sitting there we were having a really great time we were laughing away we were getting smiles and eye contact from the actors and then towards the end of the first half on comes Orlando with papers in his hand and I think we're going oh what's going on what's going to happen because we knew that this production had included aspects of Panto and particularly this was audience interaction and involvement. So we first went to the right of the stage and pulled up two people and the next thing he, I know he comes running over to stage left and goes come on and I'm going like me? Really? And he was like yes. <laughs> And so me and uh, Geraldine, who was a girl in my course, we got invited up onto the stage and I was probably smiling from ear to ear because he said to me, don't look so surprised, you are on the, on the stage. <laughs> so I, I remember like my heart beating so fast that I always felt like I couldn't breathe because I just could not believe it that I was standing on the Royal Shakespeare Company stage. So we got put up stage facing him so we, our backs were to the audience and he gave us all two sheets of paper and he would give us a count of three so he came back round to face the audience and gave us a one, two, three and then we, when we turned around it spelled out the name Rosalind so when I looked down at it after he'd gone I found that I had the L and the I <laughs> so we got a really big cheer from the audience and then he ran off and it marked the first half and I think we were kind of standing out there going oh wait what do we do what do we do and then the stage hands came on and to guide us off stage and then they said do you want to keep the sheets because you can and then I think both me and Geraldine were just like yes <laughs> so we came down stage and what was really funny was how the guys who I was sitting with were going, L, I have never seen anyone look as happy as you were when you got on stage. And truthfully, I, I was like, I just couldn't stop smiling. And I was just going, oh my God, I just got on stage at the RSC. Oh my God. So that is the first unexpected stage debut that has happened this summer. The second one was at Henry the Fourth Part Two, which I saw 
last week. So I went to see it because um, I'd seen the Hollow Crown production, Hollow Crown version of Henry the Fourth Part One, and I really wanted to see Henry the Fourth Part Two done at the festival, so I could tick off that Shakespeare to add it to the various Shakespeare's I've seen. So I knew Rob Gore, who was playing Falstaff, and Alexander Gordon Wood, who was playing King Henry the Fourth. So I was watching the show, it was really good fun, I was, I'd been laughing and laughing. I was sitting at the front, at the very front, so <laughs> towards the end, the characters Falstaff, Justice Shallow, and I think Justice Silence, I think the character was called, they were having a bit of a drunken dance, a bit of a jig, which you would have seen back in Shakespeare's day. So they were singing, and next thing I know, Justice Silence grabs my hand and then pulls me up to give me a couple of twirls under his arm. And then Justice Shallow then asked me what my name was, and I said, it's L. And then she said, L, would you like to come on stage and dance with us? I was like, oh, what? Really? And in character, she said, yes, I can tell you want to. So I get pulled on stage and then I ended up dancing along to the drunken <laughs> song. Like I couldn't really remember what the lyrics were. I think at the time I was just a bit too starstruck and a bit too, oh my God, I'm actually on stage at the Cambridge Shakespeare Festival. But I got a really um, lovely cheer from the audience, which was very charming. And the actors gave me a big round of applause as well. And I got I actually got commended for my dancing skills, so and that was from my friend from, from Rob after I saw the show. And to that I replied, Well, it's good to know that two years of stupid dancing at various uni parties has come in useful. So those were my unexpected stage debuts that I have made this summer and it has honestly just made it so so memorable and I'm just quite grateful for all the memories that those memories that those moments have given me so thank you very much for watching this video and keep an eye out for another one bye